this lesson is about truth table, okay? Truth table is the building block at the basic logical level about relationships between statements and quantities and so on and so forth. So what we're talking about here is a very, very basic logical relationship. And they are centered on two words. One is and, and the other one is or. Okay, these two words which we use daily, and um, it has some, some very important legal implications. Okay, in any legal ledger, if and or or, or it depends on and or or is used, it has a different meaning. It has a different meaning. And they have the same meaning in mathematics too. So I'm gonna start with an example talking about and or, or, okay? So example number one, I'm gonna talk about, suppose we have one car, okay? We have a, you know, we have a one car that's registered under my name and my husband's name, okay? LW, and CW. So I can call person A and the person B. If this car is registered, a car is registered under person A, and the person B. Person A and the person B. So person A, person B. Okay? Then any transaction, any trans transaction about this car has to be approved by both person. In other words, we need to have two signatures. And this uh, as applies to, you know, check, uh, you know, uh, cash, you know, go to cashier to cash a check and so on and so forth. So we just use the car situation as an example, person A and person B. Okay, so regarding if we consider a signature, suppose we say we, we, we're going to sell the car, we're going to sell the car, right? And if both person agrees, right? So if person A says, if person A could say, yes, to sell the car or no, not to selling the car. So in that case, in the case of no, he or she is not gonna sign. So person A would say, I don't, what I want to sell the car. And for person B, we also have the same choices. So person B could say, Yes or no. So we'll be having this following scenario. Okay. We're gonna have following scenario. Person A, person B. Person A and person B. So regarding selling the car, the person A could say yes. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, yes. And person B may say no. But because the car is registered under person A and the person B, person A and the person B, Can the car be sold? Because the, on this legal ledger, right? Person A and the person B, and one says yes, the other one says no, the car cannot be sold, right? 
So the final answer, when we combine these two persons and we look at the legal ledger, you go to DMV with triple A and the car will not be sold. It could also be person A says no, and person B says yes, and the car can still, can still not be sold. We still cannot sell this car. It could also be, it could also be that both says yes. Both says yes. We both says yes and they sign the paper and the car is sold. It could also be that both says no. Then there's no transaction. There's no transaction. Okay. So this is the, the use of and in legal documents, in legal documents. So whether it's an or, or, it makes a big difference. Now, what if I change the word and to or? What if I change the word from and to or, right? And these two persons, right? These two persons may still have those choices, right? But this time it's gonna be person A, instead of being person A and person B, and we have person A or person B. So this car is registered under person A, which is maybe it's me or my husband, okay? And I say yes. So person A says yes, and he says no. Can the sale be taken place? Yes, we can, I can sell the car, right? So person A can sell the car. The transaction can go forward. But if person A says no, person B says yes, the car can still be sold. He both says yes, of course, that's very straightforward. Transaction will take place. He both says no, there'll be no transaction. There'll be no transaction. Okay, so this is the and or situation in real life, in real life. Okay, how about is how is it applied in mathematics? How about how is it applied in mathematics? In mathematics, it's very similar. It's very similar. But this may not be about selling a car. It could be about anything related to a statement, okay? So we have a statement. Statement A or statement B. Okay, so it could be statement A and statement B. It could be statement A and statement B. Okay, we know that any statement, it can either be true or false. Any statement can either be true or false, right? If statement A is true, so yes become true. And if statement B is false, then A and B would be false. If statement A is false and statement B is true, and statement A and statement B is gonna be false. If both statements are true, true and true is true. If both statements are true or false, false and false is false. So this is one of the truth tables we're going we're intended to cover, okay? So truth table, truth table, okay? Statement A, statement B. 
So if they are parallel, they are completely parallel to the situation in the legal world, okay? In, in law, in our common practice, in our daily life, and or mean the same thing as they mean in mathematics regarding statements. So this compo a composite statement, right? One statement and the other statement, and that's their relationship. That's their relationship. Okay, so I'm gonna make the statement a little bit shorthand notation. Okay, SDMT. So how about the or situation? All right, so that's what we wanna to get to. How about the or situation? How about the or situation? The or situation will be similar, very similar. Okay, so we're gonna have statement A, statement B, statement A, and statement B. Okay, I think the color wouldn't matter that much. It just I don't make it more consistent. All right, in the or situation, and yes, it simply becomes true, right? You statement A is true, and the statement B is false, true or false is true because we choose the word or. You can see how important it is, right? We use the right word for or, or, or and. If statement A is false and statement B is true, right? False or true is true. If statement A is true and statement B is true, true or true is true. If statement A is false and statement B is also false and false or false is false. So these two tables are called truth tables, okay? So these are the truth tables. And of course we can use shorthand notation to write truth tables, okay? So I'm gonna get, give you the shorthand notation version of short, uh, of true false table. So how do we make it shorthand? And sometimes we just assume it's about statement A, statement B, right? So A or uh, A and B, a and B, uh, A or B, but we know that B and A are both two true, uh, two statements. So for true, we're gonna just use the word T. False, we use the word false, uh, F. So these are the shorthand notation. We just use the first letter of each word. So these are the shorthand notation that you probably often see in some textbooks, but it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference in the nature of the question. So I'm gonna give you the shorthand version of it. And then we're gonna make some observations. We're gonna make some observations. True, false. And we actually could find some patterns, can we? Do we find some patterns? Okay, you're gonna be quizzed on these, right? It's gonna be, um, so these are the, so A and B are statements. A and B in statement, it could be either true or false, right? Any statement, it could be either true or false. Okay, so this is a mathematics true or false uh, in truth table. So this is the, the truth table
two tables and or or. So in the future, okay, if you haven't done so, okay, in the future, whenever the word and or or are to be decided which one to use, we have to apply mathematical logic. We have to apply mathematical logic. Okay, so let's look at what pattern do we see here, right? So you can see A and B is false if one of them is what? If one of them is false, right? A and B is false. You can see A and B is false in three cases. Among these three cases, what are the common feature? One of them is false, one false, one false, one false. So we can safely say, we can safely say A and B is is false only, I'm sorry, if one of them is false. Could I say that? So I'm making another statement. Is this statement true or false? Right, we observe the pattern, right? So A and B is false if one of them, one of them is false. Can we make another statement about A and B? One is A and B true. A and B is true only when both are true. Agree? Okay, so let's look at the or situation. In the or situation, in the or situation, we have only one falsehood when both are false. A or B is true, one is A or B true. In this case, one is true, the other one is false. One is true, the other one is false. Both are true. So in all three situations, so now, can we say, can we make the following statement? Okay, so this is observing and summarizing. Observing and summarizing, right? So A or B is true if what? If one of them is true, right? One of them is true. One of them is true. How about when is A or B false? Only when both are false. Okay, so we, we kind of rhyme with, with uh, the, the end situation. So you can, from this table, we can also summarize, okay? Can these truth table be extended to A, B, C, D? Yes, absolutely. But we're not going there um, unless there's a demand for this course. Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.